Hi, Dr. Kent Holtorf here again. Uh, today I'd like to talk about growth hormone. And we hear a lot about growth hormone in terms of athletic performance and people abusing it and bodybuilders uh, using it along with steroids to build lean muscle, increase endurance. Well, is there other uses? Is it, can it be safely used in medical practice to reduce aging? And what we're, the studies are finding is that yes, a lot of the symptoms of aging are actually due to the decline in growth hormone. So by giving more uh, levels of growth hormone, just to bring to more optimal, not these massive doses that bodybuilders and athletes are using, you can actually reduce the incidence of heart disease, uh, increase sense of well-being, decrease depression, increase energy, improve sleep, uh, decrease body fat, increase lean muscle. So lots of benefits. And people hear about, oh, it's growth hormone. If you take growth hormone, you have a cancer, can make it grow. The nice thing is the studies over 20 years have shown this not the case. It actually associated with the reduced risk of cancer. And so with growth hormone, it can't be given, again, just, just to give it for anti-aging purposes. You need to be found to have a deficiency, a relative deficiency of aging. Um, so you need to find a doctor that can diagnose that deficiency and see if you're a candidate for growth hormone uh, therapy, which can oftentimes, again, uh, bring someone back from just feeling terrible and, uh, again, uh, back to that younger uh, feeling and uh, increased quality of life.